Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with Everyday Counts here in the North Shore. So we have an hour together for yoga today and we're going to be looking at the back body. So, so much of what we do, in fact, most of what we do is in the front plane of our body, meaning as if you kind of sliced us through from the crown of our head all the way down through the middle of our body. So we had a front body and a back body. Most of what we do, eating, reading, driving, watching things on TV, talking to people, everything is in the front body. So today we're gonna to be bringing awareness to the back body, strengthening our awareness there and strengthening through the back body too. In fact, most of our capacity for breathing is also in the back body because the lungs in the back body are actually bigger than the lungs in the front body. So there's a lot of things there. So sitting in a place that feels comfortable for you and you're welcome to stay uh, seated in a chair if that feels more comfortable for you. Again, everything that I'm offering you here is for you to decide whether it works for you. And if it doesn't, choose differently. So coming to whatever it is is a comfortable place for you to start your practice. And it doesn't have to look a particular way ever. We're all put together differently and you're meeting your needs. Rooting down through whatever is supporting you. Really getting connected downwards. You can even take your fingers to the chair or the earth underneath you. Root down into the earth or support. And from there, there's a lifting up through the spine, through the crown of the head. So we get this rooting to rise. The earth is there to support us all the time and from there we get to do all kinds of things. But we really do have to trust that support first. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out, soften your gaze, close your eyes or simply lower your gaze depending on your level of comfort. And do that a couple of times. And as you do that, sink into that support with every exhale. And then just tune in, notice how you're feeling today. Notice your kind of energy level that you're working with. Start with giving yourself permission to do what it is that you need today. And if that means doing less or pausing or resting, then go ahead and do that. Notice how your body is feeling today. Notice tender parts, parts that have tension, discomfort. But notice the quieter parts too. Notice the parts of strength, the parts that you feel comfort in. Even if it's the tip of your nose, the tip of your pinky finger. And I want you to notice your body as a whole here crown of your head down to the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands. And then I want you to notice the front body. Again, as if someone sliced you right the way down the middle. And take your breath, however it is, into the front of your body. Imagine breathing into the front of your body here. And there's a good chance that most of your breath is in the front part of your body anyway. And then I want you to take your awareness into your back body. So the back of your head, back of your shoulders, back of your arms. Your whole back of your ribs, mid back, lower back back of your seat and all the way down the back of your legs through the heels of your feet. 
And I want you to take your awareness and breath into the back body now. And notice how that changes things up for you. And if it's really hard to do and you have no idea what I'm going on about, then that's okay, you can just ignore me. Now see if you can imagine, sense, or feel breathing into the back ribs. As if someone had the palms of their hands on the back of your ribs and you could breathe right into that. Almost like you could still the front of your body and take all your awareness into the back body. And if you don't feel it, imagine it. And that's why we're going to keep our awareness today in the back body. And I'll bring your awareness back to it as we move. So from here, rooting to rise and notice how it feels rising into the back body too. Broadness across the top of your shoulders, across the back of your ribs, across the lower back, bringing the back of the head back a little so the chin draws in. Steady breath. Taking two fingers to the back of your head, just press into that and then release once you have your awareness there. This is the inhale on the exhale. Take the back of your head over towards the right. Inhale to center, back of your head over towards the left. I notice what you notice. Notice sensations. And keeping the side to side movement on the exhale, we're drawing the chin towards the front right. So the back of the head is nodding down, inhale to center, exhaling front left. So the back of your body, top of your shoulders, back of your neck, it's getting more of a reach here. Notice how it feels in the back of your head for that to happen. Notice where you hold tension, where it feels tight. Next time we dip the chin towards the front right side, option to stay there for three breaths broadening across the back body, breathing into the back of your head, back of your neck, maybe into that left shoulder. Staying for one last breath, inhaling up to center and over to the other side. Soften through the right shoulder, but breathe into back of the head back of the neck, upper shoulder, especially through that right shoulder. Use the breath to soften tension as much as you can. And when we're ready, we come all the way back to center. From there, on an inhale, we're gonna roll the shoulders up towards our ears and forward, circling up and forward. Hands can be resting wherever they want to or just simply moving in your own way. Breathing into the back of the body. Notice what's happening. Draw the chin in towards the chest if you want to, to add sensation and notice how this feels across the upper shoulders, the upper back. Notice how your shoulder blades are moving here. Nice, breathing into that back body. And then from here, we're gonna take the crown of the head up and we're gonna move again from the back body but around in the opposite direction. So your shoulder blades are drawing towards each other here. Notice where you feel this. Smooth and steady, allow the movement to be yours. Strengthening and softening and moving with a fluidity as much as you can. 
Mm -hmm. And then coming back to center when you're ready. If you go cross-legged like me, then you can um, switch up the cross, or if you're sitting in a different way, then you're welcome to uh, bring some ease into it. Hands on the front of the knees, however you're seated. You can be um, in a chair up on your knees. Support yourself as you feel best. Awareness to the back body, breathing into the back of the ribs, like as if I said, my hands were on the back of your ribs just gently and on the inhale there's an expansion, exhale softening, and we're going to circle through the ribs here. Note it, sensations in the back of your body, as if you could almost tune out the sensations from the front of your body. And get curious as to where feels tight, where feels tension. Is there anything you can do here to ease things for yourself? And then we're going to go around in the opposite direction when you're ready. Notice how that feels. Mm -hmm. smooth and as easy as you can make it for another couple always resting if you need to your awareness is in the back body coming back to center breathing right into those back ribs and don't forget about the back of your seat back of your legs back of your head back of your arms Something we generally don't pay attention to. And then from there, coming over onto hands and knees when you're ready, take any support you need to underneath your knees and come down to forearms if you need to. That feels better than wrists. Otherwise, comfortable distance for you, whatever that means, toes tucked or untucked. Spread the fingers wide. Root down through all of your foundation and on your next exhale, we're pushing the back of the ribs up towards the sky. Allow the head to come with you in its own natural way. And we're staying here for a few breaths. Now we need to breathe into the whole back body here. Back of your head, all the way down through the neck, shoulders, back body, back ribs, seat, back of the pelvis and the legs all the way down through the heels to the soles of the feet, back of the arms too. Notice if there's a whole lot of tightness or tension there and seeing if you can use that breath to ease things. You're welcome to stay here or cat and cow. So on the inhale, still awareness to the back body, the back body arches as we lift the gaze, lift the seat, exhale, rounding. Keep the breath flowing, even where there's tension and tightness. Keep the breath flowing, the flowing of the breath is where we get the benefit from the movement. If we're holding our breath, then the movement is not that beneficial to our body. Inhaling and exhaling. Mindful movements, as big or as small as feel comfortable for you. You can stay here or coming back to center, just like we did in our seat. You're going to take big barrel rolls through the ribs. Awareness to the back body still, both in the inhale and the exhale. Is there anything you can do here to adjust and add some more fluidity and maybe that's bending through the elbows, bringing the shoulders involved. There's no right and wrong here. And then we'll go around in the opposite direction when you're ready. You can always stay in a particular place and breathe through there. Mm-hmm. This is building awareness to what's going on in our back body as we move. And then we're going to bring some strength into that. 
So coming back to center, making any adjustments you need to. Taking an extra padding under that left leg if you want to as we take back the right leg, toes to the floor. Inhaling and exhaling. Now notice the back of that right leg through the heel all the way through the back of that leg. Pelvis is neutral. Again, you can always come down to forearms if you want to. And notice the crown of the head as well. Coming all the way down through the back of the head, shoulders. Belly is drawn in, back of the heart is lifting. So there's a slight doming through the back body. So we're not overarching. Option to stay here. On an inhale, we're lifting up through that right heel if you want to, exhaling down. Now, notice what's happening in the back body here. We want this trunk to be stable and still. We're not concerned about how high that heel comes, but where it's as if we've got strings attached through the back of the right thigh, back of the calf, back of the heel, and that's where the work is coming from. Option to pulse, option to stay. Heel pushes out as if you've got a wall there. And that back leg is as strong as you can make it. Option to stay here, option to extend the left arm out. And again, as if you've got strings through the thumb, the forearm and the shoulder, especially that left shoulder, we're lifting up from there. The right hip is also lifting. Back of the heart lifting and we're breathing. Option to stay here or this is the inhale on the exhale. Draw the elbow in towards the knee. It doesn't have to get there. We're rounding by pushing into our foundation. That's the exhale. Inhale, extending, exhaling, curling. Take all of your awareness in the back body and adjust as you need to. One more. Stay in stillness. You've got three breaths. Rest if you need to. Lift into the back body as if you're lifting like a marionette up towards the sky. Steady breath. Exhale, that left hand comes down. Right knee, cat and cow. Notice what's happening in your body. Same thing, other side. Left leg steps back behind you, toes to the floor and we're pulsing. Pad the right knee any amount that you need to. Adjust your foundation so it suits you. And then option to come to stillness here. Belly draws in, back of the heart lifts, the gaze is in front of you. Option to stay. Option to lift and lower. And notice what's happening in that left hip. If it's dropping down, if it's lifting up, keep it as neutral as you can with the breath. Breath in the back body. Mm -hmm. You can stay here pulsing or option to stay heel lifting. Push through that leg so it's straight and strong. Stay here or extend the right arm out as if the back of the leg is lifting up, back of the hip, back of the right shoulder through the thumb. You can stay here if you're adding on. This is the inhale, exhale, push into your foundation, knee draws underneath you and towards the elbow, doesn't matter if it gets there, inhale, extending. Exhale is curling. Notice where you feel this in the back body. You have more or less three more. Last one. After that exhale, staying and holding, making any adjustments that you need to. You've got three breaths here. Push into your foundation. Lift into the back body. You've got more or less one more breath. Staying for that inhale, exhale. 
hand and knee come down, cat and cow. And then from here, you're gonna untuck those toes and then bring the knees a little wider, toes in towards each other, hips back towards the heels, supported child's pose here, forearms, fists, palms, or all the way down to the floor. Play with how wide or how close those knees are in towards each other. Breathe into the back body. Once again, as if I had my palms on the back of your body. Inhaling and exhaling. Nice. And then from there, staying for as long as you like, or we're gonna come all the way down onto our bellies. So, lengthening along the floor. The wider you take your legs, the easier it's going to feel on your lower back. Take the palms stacked, take your forehead down, and then decide for yourself what you need to change up. Maybe you need to lengthen both legs along the floor, bring them closer towards each other, or widen them apart. And we're breathing here. Breathe into the back body. Notice what you feel here, just simply resting. And if this is not for you, no big deal. Come out and maybe take a bridge pose to strengthen through the back. Otherwise, this is a great place to be, simply stacking your palms, resting one cheek, glancing to one side, excellent place to stay right here. For a lot of us, this already feels like a deep back bend. You want to add on, hands come underneath the shoulders, spread the fingers as wide as you did when you were in cat and cow and the elbows draw in towards your ribs, roll the shoulders back and down. Push into the tops of your feet so much so that the back of the knees feel like they're lifting towards the sky. Pubic bone roots downwards, belly draws in. Channel forehead to the earth, on an inhale, pushing into your hands, lifting up. We're not concerned about height here, we want length. So imagine drawing the elbows back towards your heels and opening up your heart and the crown of your head nudging towards the top of your mat. That's the inhale, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Now as you do this, I want you to take your awareness into the back body. Inhaling, strengthening, exhaling. There is a letting go at the end. Let the breath do the work for you. You can stay here pulsing or next time you come up, option to stay. Three breaths, elbows draw back towards each other as the crown of the head reaches towards the top of your mat. Breathe into your back body here. Again, we're not concerned about how high you are. Breathe into the back body just as much as we normally breathe into the front body. Find a wave of breath there and on the exhale, taking the hands forward, one cheek to your stacked palm, bend the knees, Circle through the ankles to relieve any lower back stuff. And if this is too much for you, it doesn't feel right to you, then come back into child's pose. Otherwise, we're adding on a little. When you're ready, we're taking those feet back down, 
your distance apart so it's comfortable for you. This time, the fingertips are coming off the mat to either side of you, elbows up towards the sky, forehead or chin down towards the earth. Push into the tops of your feet. Pubic bone, backs of the knees will engage a little, belly draws in. Once again, don't care about height here. Pushing into those fingertips, inhaling, lengthening up, exhaling down with your breath, pulsing with your breath. Now notice where your breath is. Take it into the back body. Fill it up from the backs of your heels all the way, as, all the way through the back of your head as if you are being lifted up from the back body with strings just like a marionette. Excellent place to stay. Or as we come up, next, exhale. Right shoulder dips down, looking over the left fingertip. Inhale to center, going to the other side. Elbows up towards the sky. Now notice where you're feeling the sensation in the back of your body here. Every inhale offering a lightness. Mm -hmm. One more either side. Inhale to center, stack palms, opposite cheek down, bend the knees, windshield wiper, the knees from side or the ankles from side to side or circle through the feet, release the back. And if this is enough for you, come back into child's pose slowly and carefully, otherwise we're adding one more. Rest if you need to, take the feet as wide as is comfortable for you. Chin or forehead down, and we're taking the hands back behind us as wide as you like towards the hips. Push down through the feet, the pubic bone, belly draws in, and we're breathing into the back body here. Back of the knees lifting. On an inhale, using the palms, and the sole of the tops of the feet, we're lifting up on an inhale, finding length on the exhale, we're coming down. Again, as if you're being pulled up from the ceiling, the breath is doing the lifting for you. Option two, we'll take the pinky edges of your feet towards the sky, and then we're lifting with the hands as well. Keeping the hands lifting, back of the arms lifting towards the sky. Find an ease here to the breath. Rest whenever you need to. Option when we come up to stay. As long as the breath is even, push down into the pubic bone. Option to hover the feet. Lifting up from the back body. Breathe into the back body here, three breaths. We're finding length from the toes all the way through the crown of the head. And stay for the last breath and on an exhale, when you're ready, opposite cheek, two stacked fists, bend the knees, circles, windshield wiper, anything that feels good here. Opposite direction if you're going in circles. And then we're coming back to child's pose. So, hands underneath the shoulders, lifting up. And then we're drawing the hips back towards heels, any amount supported with the hands, forearms, fists, or coming all the way down. And you can always, if you want that extra curling through the lower back, take the hands back behind you. Breathing into the back body. Notice how it feels different after strengthening and taking those back bends.
few breaths here, breathing into the back of the lungs. And then when you're ready, hands come underneath you. Any movements you need here to ease through the back body after all that strengthening. And then we're gonna come up to standing and I'll meet you there. Coming to mountain pose. So feet a comfortable distance apart for you. Rooting to rise. So we're still grounding and then taking that grounding and lengthening up through the crown of the head. Palms towards me, widen through the collarbones. Inhale, exhale, soften. Take all of your awareness into your back body and from there, breathe into it. Steady and slow with the breath. And notice what it is that you're feeling from here. Turning the palms up when you're ready on the inhale from the elbows to start with, inhaling up, exhaling down. Seeing if you can keep the awareness in the back body as you do this. Option to start to move from the shoulders. Filling up the back body with breath as you move. Mm -hmm. And take your hands all the way up to center if you like. I know you can't see that in the shot. Inhaling and exhaling. Next time we come up, we're going to take the right wrist with the left hand, bringing the hands back behind you, breathing into the back body here. And the softer you have your elbows, the easier it will be in your shoulders. Now rooting down through both feet, inhale up through the right fingertips and over to the left, gently drawing that over with the left hand. Palm, right palm towards me. Breathing into the right side of the body here. Now root down through the right heel and lift from there. I want you to breathe into the back right ribs here. As if you could breathe right into that rib cage. Inhaling and exhaling. Nice. And then from here, draw the shoulders towards the left side, tuck the chin, and draw the right hand towards the left front of your body, breathing into the back of the right ribs. Pushing through the right heel, reaching through the fingertips any amount. Finding any tightness or tension there, breathing into it for another two breaths. On an inhale, coming up to center, releasing and rolling through the shoulders. Rolling the opposite direction too, and we're coming to the other side when you're ready. Hands go up, left wrist, right hand, palm towards me. Elbows bent as much as you need to for your shoulders. You can even rest that on top of your head if that feels better for you. But the back of the palms come back any amount that you can accommodate for your shoulders. You can stay here. On an inhale, if you want to, lifting up and over towards the right any amount. More is not better here. We want stability. Rooting through the left heel and drawing that palm towards the right, any amount, breathing, taking all of your awareness into the left ribs. 
Again, more is not better here. It's not better if we shift the hips and get um, deeper into that. What we want is the flowing of the breath and stability and sustainability in the movement. Then you can stay here or we're taking the heart towards the, left, uh, the right side, sorry. Drawing the left elbow down, fingertips over towards the right side. We're pushing through the left heel and breathing into the back of the left lung. If you feel like the breath is halting, do a little less, come back. Again, more is not better here. We want stability and sustainability with the breath. Got another couple of breaths. Staying to the last exhale, coming all the way up and releasing. Rooting to rise. Hands come to the hips, coming into tree pose. So if you need a um, chair or a wall handy or a countertop, you go ahead and do that. Root into the left foot, lift the right heel. Excellent place to stay here. Just rearrange your center of gravity. Now take your awareness into the back body, especially through the left heel, all the way up through the crown of your head. Fill that with breath. Hip staying as even as you can. Option to turn that right knee out. Toes to the floor, great place to stay right here. And this is challenging for a lot of us. If you want to stay here, do. Option to take that right heel over the left foot. Again, hips are even, more or less. Breathe into the back body here. Notice what you're feeling, adjusting to your body. That sole of the foot can come to the inner ankle, toes on the floor or foot to shin. Fixing your gaze, steady the breath. Option to take that leg up towards the upper thigh, just not on the knee joint. Root down through the standing foot. Now through the heel, breathe into the back body. Option to stay here, hands to heart. Push the heels in towards each other to lift the elbows, drop the shoulders for extra balance. So you take the hands out, thumb and first finger if you like, or palms can come towards each other, any amount. Breathe into the back body once again. Draw the front ribs in and breathe into the back of the ribs. Find the strength that you have there in the back body to hold you here. And if you fall out, no big deal. Just come back in. You've got another couple of breaths here. You've got a whole lot of strength in the back body. Exhale, hands to hips, and that right leg comes down. You can shake out that left leg if it was getting tense or tight, hula hoop through the hips, anything you need here. And we're coming to the other side. So we start in mountain pose. Breathe into the back body, hands to hips, keeping the hips square, bending the left knee, lifting the heel, so we take our weight into the right leg and adjust any amount that you need to here. Knee option to turn out towards the left. Great place to be, already challenging. Fix your gaze, steady the breath, take your breath to the back body, option to take the heel over the top of the right foot. As we narrow the stance, things get challenging. Foot can come to the inner ankle, toes to the floor, or foot to the shin. We're pushing in towards each other. Option to take the foot to the upper thigh, any amount, just not the knee joint. Breathe into the back body here. Push through the right heel and feel a firming up through the whole back body, through the back of your head to the crown of your head. Draw the front ribs in 
and get really clear about breathing into the back of the ribs. Hands to heart center. You can take it out in a tree. You can bring it up in front of you any amount. Bring it to your tree. Ooh, and if you get wobbly, you fall out, come right back in. Breathe into the back of your body. Again, drawing the front ribs in and then breathe into the back of your lungs. Fill the back body with awareness and with breath. Three more breaths here. Push through the heel. Wherever you are, fill up your back body with awareness. Notice how much strength and breath you have there. When you're ready, hands come to hips. And we take that left leg down, hula hoop through the hips, anything you need here, back in the opposite direction. Mountain pose. Breathe into the back of your body. And we're going to take that into warrior one. So, coming to the front of your mat, hands to your hips. Fix your gaze, breathe into the back body here. Lifting through the right heel on an inhale, you're going to take that right foot back, warrior one. So feet are around about a hip distance, left foot facing forward, right foot out about 45 degrees, depending on what feels good in your body. So 45 degrees might not mean 45 degrees to you. Straightening and bending into that front leg. And from here, by doing that, you get to play with your foundation, always adjusting for your body. And then we deepen into the front knee, knee more or less over ankle. And then we're drawing that whole body forward. Now your hips will be off towards the right because the back heel is not lifted. That's pretty much the only way we can square the hips. So accommodate for your body. As we draw that right shoulder forward, if that brings a whole lot of tension through the right side of your body, Please adjust things to feel better. Play with your pelvis here. Notice where you're tilting your pelvis and come to a neutral place. Front ribs drawn in. And then push through both heels. So not only the right heel, but the left heel. And wake up the awareness to the back of your body here. Breathe all the way through the back of your shoulders and neck up towards the back of your head and through the crown of your head. On an inhale, we're straightening the front leg, exhaling, coming down. Great place to be, right here. You want to add the arms, inhaling up, exhaling, thumbs to the sky. Warrior one, flow. But I want you to breathe into the back of your body here. Notice how you can push into both heels to fire up the whole back of your body. Great place to stay. If you want to add on, we're adding cat and cow. So on the inhale, we're lifting up through the heart, opening up through the front body, breathing into the back body. Shoulder blades come towards each other. On the exhale, deepening into the knee, belly comes into the spine, and we're rounding, feeling into the back body here. Inhaling, straightening, lifting, Back body still, pushing through the heels, exhaling, rounding. Inhaling and exhaling. Taking this movement, but taking your awareness into the back body and noticing what's happening here. Adjusting it to feel good for you. Mm -hmm. Option to stay flowing option when you come down to stay there clasping the hands behind you if you want to and we stay push in through both heels wake up the back body chin can come down towards the chest your belly can rest on the top on the inside of that front thigh and the last option here is to curl down, taking the hands up towards the sky, micro bend in that elbow, and we're here for three breaths. Push into both heels, 
Breathe into the back of your ribs wherever you are. If you need to support yourself, go ahead. Stay for the last breath. And as if strings were pulling you up on an inhale, up we come, straighten the front leg, hands to hips, and we're stepping forward. Any movement you need to soften anything, take the breath back to center. Wave of breath, bring it into the back body. Mm -hmm. Same thing, other side. Hands to the hips, through down through the right foot, fix your gaze, lift the left heel. Still breathing into the back of your body, we're sending the left leg back, rooting down, find your foundation here. I'm going to turn around so I can see everybody. Okay, so our feet are around about a hip distance. You make your own foundation, whatever works for you here. Then and straighten into that front leg and you'll get a good idea of where you need to change things up. When you're ready, next time we come down, we stay. Drawing the left shoulder forward. Right knee is bent. And now from here, we're firing up the back body by pushing into your heels. Weight up the back of your legs all the way through the back of your seat. Back body, neck, all the way up through the head. Adjust any amount that you need to in your foundation. The inhale, oh, let's sort out the pelvis here. And again, the awareness is coming from the back body. So what feels good to you here? We straighten the front leg on an inhale. Exhale, sink. Great place to be right here. And if something doesn't feel right, change it up. From here, adding arms. On the inhale, we come up, that beach ball above us as big or as small as you like. Exhale, shoulder height, thumbs to the sky. If you want to add on extension and flexion from the back body, inhale, shoulder blades come towards each other, push through the heels and notice what it feels like in the back body. On the exhale, as we come down, option, draw the belly in towards the spine. We've been doing this a lot today. Curling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. If you need support, hand on that thigh. Inhaling and exhaling. Take what it is that you need. Now as you're moving through here, Fire up through the back heels. Back body is where all of your awareness is. Stay here, or next time you come forward, we stay. Hands to support, hands can come behind you. Drawing the heels of the hands towards each other, resting on or in between, or resting the hands on that thigh. Last option is to round forward. Push into the heels, breathe into the back of your ribs. Inhaling and exhaling. Last breath here. As if you're being pulled up on an inhale, the front leg straightens, hands to the hips, stepping forward. Mountain pose, or hand to belly, hand to heart, bring the breath back to center. Breathe into the back body. Take one hand, two hands to the back body, anywhere that is accessible to you, and breathe into the palms of your hands and feel the breath there. Mm -hmm. And when you're ready, I'll meet you down on the earth. From here, we're coming all the way down onto our back. 
So make sure you have any softness, any support that you need underneath you as you come down. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Uh -huh. And then from there, we're going to draw both knees in towards ourselves. Give yourself a little hug, a little rock and roll from side to side. And as you do this, breathe once again into your back body. And then from there, we take our knees down, shift the hips over towards the right side, arms on a cactus or a T, knees in towards your belly, using any support you need to, over towards the left side, and the knees come over. Support yourself any amount you need to to keep that right shoulder rooted on the floor. And if you need to take a block, or a stacked fist in between those knees, go ahead and do that to accommodate that shoulder being rooted. Option to take the gaze over the shoulder if it's rooted down. And take some slow and steady breaths here, noticing how that feels in your back body. Every exhale, allow your breath to melt any softness, or melt any tension into softness. And when you're ready, coming back to center with your gaze, knees come up to center, hips come back to center, and then over to the left. In your own time, take your twist. Knees come in and over. Left shoulder rooted and grounded. Any amount that you need to, take that support under your knees to make that happen. Gaze over that left shoulder and we're breathing. Breathing into the back body, any tightness, softening. And stay here for as long as you like. Or coming up to center. Gaze, then knees, then we bring ourselves back to center. And one more time, give yourself a little hug here. And if happy baby seems like a great way to end your practice, please go ahead and do that. Hands to um, the back of your thighs, maybe the feet come up to the floor, or they stay down with the knees wide, or you can take the outer shins or the outer feet. You can rock and roll from side to side, anything that feels good here. And I want you to wherever you are, once again, to breathe into the back body and notice how on the inhale, the back lungs expand and push into the floor. You might even feel a gentle rocking two and four, uh, forth and, uh, forward and back, is that what we're saying? Um, forward and back with the breath. And then when you're ready, we'll take relaxation. And if that means knees stay together, feet come apart, if you want to take support under those knees to, um, to help any tightness in your lower back, you need any extra blankets, eye pillows, turn off the lights, anything it is that you need here. Try and get yourself set up for your Shavasana, your relaxation. And if that means being on your side, being on your belly, go ahead and do that. This is your practice and there's no right and wrong way to relax. Settling in. And allowing yourself to be supported here. Take a breath in. 
Exhale it out, soft and slow. Do that as many times as you like, or take a big breath in, and hold right at the top. Awareness to your back body, soften tension through your back body while holding the breath. Breathe into the back body once more, holding the breath right at the top again. So the back body is getting full, almost like a balloon inflating. Soften any tension while keeping the breath. And then the last breath is a deep breath once again into the back of the body. Exhale, let it go in a sigh. Soften that out and let it go. Let the breath feel easeful here. No control whatsoever. And let your body rest into the support that it has. It is just as important to let go as it is to engage and activate. So practice here. If you feel like there's a whole lot of tension still present, use every exhale to soften and release where you can. Almost feel with every exhale, your body's melting like butter in the sunshine. Letting go, letting go. The bones release downwards and the joints feel easier. And the organs relax and release tension from around them. You do the same thing in your head with your brain, release the tension from around it. Release the thoughts and the attachment to thoughts. Just settling in to that quietness. And taking your awareness into your whole body here. Breathing into your whole body. The front and the back as a whole the right and the left as a whole. And we're starting to breathe steadily and smoothly in your own way and bringing movements into your body as that awakens.
and take your time moving lazily and easily, being gentle with yourself as you come up to a place where you would like to finish your practice, wherever that may be. Hands in a gesture of closing. Rooting to rise. And once more, filling the back body with breath. Take a big breath in when you're ready. Exhale, draw your chin down towards your chest. And then take a breath of gratitude here for your awareness to be able to shift it to different places in your body. maybe in your day, your week ahead, taking your awareness every now and again into your back body, giving it just as much attention as the front body. Noticing what it's telling you, the language it uses to reach out to you and let you know things. And thank yourself for practicing today. And from my heart to yours, Namaste.